FMU, you are on the air. Hello, Tom. Oh, hello, Spike. How are and you tonight? I'm just fine now that I'm a year older. When was your birthday? Sunday. Sunday? Mm-hmm. So how old are you now, Spike? Let's put it this way. I'm nine years away from being elderly. You're nine years away from being elderly. That's right. So you are you are what? How what what do you consider elderly? Fifty. So you are forty one. That's right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. Oh, believe it. You couldn't be a day over fifty five. I'm not old yet. So I'm not nowhere near fifty five. Well, you know, you've got all the trappings of a creepy fifty-five year old in the the uh, body of a uh, in a body of an overweight forty-one year old. So I guess that's kind of a victory. I wouldn't say overweight. Big for your size. Yes. Morbidly obese. No. 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 Slightly obese. No. Mildly obese. None of the above. Husky? That's a good word. It is a good husky. You like husky? Mm hmm. Uh, you know why you like husky? Because you're not husky. Because you're mildly obese. No. You uh, wish you uh, were husky. Oh, I am husky. When are you going to send me a picture? Everybody wants a picture of Spike. Oh, everybody wants a picture of me. Oh, in due time. I mean, why ruin the mystery? Why don't you come down here one night and, and just uh, host the show with me? That's a very tempting idea. Well, geez, I'm glad I could put a tempting idea in front of you. Hopefully you can consider this and maybe uh, pencil it into your schedule when you're not sitting on that orange crate in your basement apartment listening to the uh, the little uh, transistor radio that you tune this show to. Little transistor oh, my ra apartment is more than an orange crate. Little, I'm sure it's more than an orange crate. you got that bookshelf that you found uh, over by the water that you dragged oh, home that day. No. I buy only the good stuff. Only the good stuff. Mm-hmm. So only, what, like Florida oranges on that orange crate? No. You know, nice furniture. Mm -hmm. Only the cereals, finest. You know, computer. Only the finest. Only the finest for me. You've earned it, haven't you? Of course. Working, working for the government. So working for the government, and let's not forget what I also like to do. You know, whipping people into shape. Yeah, because you are you are the embodiment of discipline yourself. That's right. I'm just going to eat this donut here while I. Uh, but you show some discipline. You've got no discipline, but if you don't mind, I've got this uh, six pack of egg rolls I'm going to uh, eat here, and with this dipping sauce. Oh, let's not go that far, Tom. What did you have for, what was your, uh, give give me your, your, your food diary today. Oh, I had, you know, chicken, you know, with uh, stuffing wrapped into it, and, uh, you know. Well, hold on, chicken with stuffing wrapped into it? Yeah, like a chicken wrapped with stuffing. And where'd you get that? Oh, from the cafeteria at my work. From the cafeteria at work? Yes. You mean, oh, you mean that, that clinic you were in? No, I don't go. Weren't you in a clinic? No, only common people go to clinics. What what does that mean? Well, please, I don't go please to Please explain that comment. You have a doctor. No, but wasn't it like a rehab for no. for sex preverts? No. I don't do rehab. Just I like don't you need it. You don't do the suburbs, you don't do rehab? That's right. The only thing you do do is uh, load up on those uh, the chicken with the stuffing in the middle. So what did you have for dessert? Nice uh, slice of blueberry pie? No, a grapefruit. A grapefruit? That's right. What was on it? Butterscotch? No. Splenda. Splenda. Made out of chlorine. No. Yes. You don't know everything, Spike. Oh, and I take it you do. I don't know everything either. I'm not just the one. I don't... You know what I don't do, Spike? 
I don't do ignorance. That's what I don't do. Oh, I don't do ignorance either, babe. Babe! <laughs> Creeped out! Oh, what happened? Uh, what happened there? Uh, that stray cat you got there knocked some stuff over? No, it's somebody just got out of line. So, somebody got out of line. What, the that one dish you have? Is that what it is? How many dishes do you have? There's several. So you have one... I, I bet you you're the kind of guy you have one dish, one cup, one fork, one knife, one spoon. No. No? Wrong. Which ones are you missing? I have a whole set of everything. Babe. I'm still, I'm still hung up on that babe comment. Where'd that come from? Where did that come from? You oh, where and... did it come from? It just came out. Now, what do you get out of listening to this show, Spike? Oh, intellectual stimulation sometimes. And what what is your favorite music? You know, I kind of like the music. Well, I mean, I know, I, I know, I don't play the Shangri Las or Chuck Berry as much as you might like. Hey, my, my, Mike, can you grab a Chuck Berry CD? I'm, I'm going to make you feel at home. I got the mod theme on now, but I'm I'm thinking you're more. I got to put some Chuck Berry on every time you call. Oh, so, you just love playing that for me, don't you? Well, you have your it's, it's your your intro music, your theme music. So so tell me. Uh, I mean, I, I happened. I always I liked the mod. You know, that was one of my favorite sitcoms. Mm -hmm. That was that you were watching. That you were what in college when mod was on. No, I was a child. So you, what, 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 what are your favorite parts of this show? Oh, you know, the music, the interesting phone calls, like you know, what are you, the Tom and Steinberg and Vinny from Howard Beach and Vinny from Howard Beach. You can, you're mixing your shows up. Vinny from and then it's Cookie Louise, and you know. That's you're, interesting call. You're mixing your shows up. I don't have Vinny from Howard Beach. You know, Mike heard you call another show. Really? Yeah. Why, why Mike? Can you come on right now and tell? And what show was that? What What show was it, Mike? It was uh, you, Hamilton, on BAI. I don't listen to him that often. I know who you mean, but I don't listen to him that often. But you heard him as a caller. Yeah. Did, Did you call Spike? This was a while ago. I may have called once or twice. And what did what was what what were you looking to discuss? Local politics? Yeah, um, I think that's what he basically talks about, really. And, and that's is that what you were talking to with him about? Yes. <laughs> what that, was, that's not what I recall. <laughs> it was a sexy Sadie call. So no, you, I don't do sexy Sadie. <laughs> I have heard that person on BAI. So yeah, there's another <laughs> one. You're not the only one? There's more than one of you out there? That's right. <laughs> so are you ripping someone off? No. Is there an original guy out there going, We ain't Debbie the Dan and Atrix. And you're home going, I'm going to steal this guy's act. Who started it? I think I did. You started it. So you did not make this call, though. Not to that particular program, not... What show? Before. What shows have you called? I have called other shows on BAI. I've called shows on, uh, on Sirius, you know, Lynn Samuels. Uh-huh. And, and what do you say? Well, Lynn Samuels and I have, you know, we go back a lot of years. I picture you almost looking like Lynn Samuels. Do you know who Lynn Samuels is? Yes, I do. Oh, good. I'm glad you're being educated. Oh, yeah, jeepers. Thanks for educating on me on somebody I've known about for, for 15 years. Oh, I've been listening to her for 25. Oh, I guess it was a big fat race, huh, to see who <laughs> logged more Lynn Samuels miles. Does he call the fan? Have you ever called WFAN? That's a good question. I don't listen to jock radio. Jock radio. <laughs> you really are a throwback. Jock radio, you're talking about... You're uh, railing against the teenagers at one time. What, what was he talking about? The, the mall. The shopping The mall. mall. You hate the mall. You're talking about teenagers. The suburbs. The suburbs. 
Well, the suburbs isn't my cup of tea. You don't drink tea, do you? I didn't mean that literally. I meant, you know, the suburbs is not for me. Oh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be quite dead living in the suburbs. Now, Spike, the uh, Academy Award nominations came out today. Mm-hmm. Have, did you follow that at all? No, I haven't seen any of the movies what is the, nominated. What is the last movie you saw in a theater that was not X-rated? <laughs> Super Size Me. You saw Super Size Me? And, well, you, it was not... Whoa, what, were you, me in Fahrenheit. That was not a command. <laughs> that was uh, the name of a movie. Yes, I know. Is that's not what you said. That the, so you saw Super Size Me in the theater. That was like two years ago. Yeah, Super Size Me in Fahrenheit 9-11. And Fahrenheit 9/11. You don't go for the uh, for the non-fictional uh, movies there. Oh well, let's put it this way: if no one's getting decapitated, I don't bother looking at it. I just happen to like those particular. You a new wrinkle every conversation. So I picture you now. You're kind. Of, now I'm picturing more like uh, like Buffalo Bill in uh, Silence of the Lambs, but it, with that, instead of that like Euro uh, like that Euro pop playing. Picturing you playing like this is you in the basement, like I roll over Beethoven. like with some girl trapped in the pit. You're 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 cranking Chuck Berry. That's right. I only listen to high quality. This is you. Up in the morning and out to school. It's school day now. Wake up. I'm gonna lower this basket in. Have you ever killed anyone, Spike? Has anyone died by your hand? No. No? No. So so you so so you like horror movies? Oh yes, you know, Jason and Freddy and Chucky and Michael and you know, Leatherface. I, I really dig those. You really dig horror movies. That's right. As and long as somebody's getting decapitated, I'm a happy camper. Have I thought you seen I w- Hostel yet? Hostel? Yeah. Why didn't you see Hostel? Well, I'm going to. So my coworker recommended it to me. Mm-hmm. Coworker? <laughs> yeah, one of the coworkers at the. Uh... Yeah, that's right. I thought you only liked the good stuff. You're saying I only like the good stuff. I only... But you're talking about the lowest grade horror movies. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, 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 you're right. Chucky, that's good stuff. Child's Play 3. Well, listen, I mean, it's better than seeing the Tom Cruise movie or a Jenny from the Bedroom movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, because those are the only movies that are out. It's uh, either either uh, either a horror movie or a, or a uh, political documentary or a uh, Jennifer Lopez or Tom Cruise movie. No, I don't. No, I said I don't like to see Tom Cruise or Jenny from the Bedroom. But what? What about like other movies? For example, oh, I don't know. Uh, good night and good luck. Well, that I do want to say. Other people have recommended that to me. Uh huh. People at work recommended that to you. Uh, yeah. People at the. What, what division of government is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, is it? Is it a, 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 a citywide? Is it? Is it? Uh, is federal. It federal. 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 So, in a sense, I'm working for the genius in the White House. So, are you are you uh, dealing with people all the time? Only on the phones, not face to face. Thankfully, not face to face. All right, Spike. It's always interesting. Yeah, see, you know, I just, uh, you know, you always find a new. Uh, thing to find out about me. There is always a new thing. Tonight we found out a few things about you. Yes. Right. And there's more to come. <laughs> and there's more to come. Oh, good heavens. Maybe he can uh, tell us about the State of the Union address. Is he going to watch that tonight? Yes. Oh, absolutely not. Well, <laughs> why not? That's your president. I wouldn't be. That's your employer up there talking. I may work for him, but uh, indirectly, but uh, I don't have to listen to him. It's like a company meeting for you. Oh, no, it isn't. It's not required viewing. It's your boss, right? What? 
He's an idiot. No, he's not. He's our pre First of all, he's our president, and you don't talk about the president that way. Oh, he wasn't elected. Sure he was. He, he crushed no. John Kerry. No, no, the first time he wasn't elected. Oh, they, the first time is over. Now he's president. He was elected. He crushed John Kerry. It's a landslide well, victory. Well, because John Kerry was quick. Maybe John Kerry needed some discipline. No. If the genius had ran against, oh, let's see. Judge Judy, I'm sure Judge Judy would be in office right now. I'm sure she would, too. Judge, I'm sure Judge Judy would. I'm going to make you our new political correspondent. <laughs> Thank you, Spike. You have a great night. Oh, you too. Bye. I don't know what it is. I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm hooked. He's got me. He gets me at hello. FMU, you're on the air. You know, that guy he sounds like a cross between Judge Judy and Maud. He does sound like a cross between Judge Judy and Maud. That's fantastic. Who was your... And Spike, I mean, come on. He sounds like he's 500 pounds and bald. What, what, what's your name, young man? My name's Chuck. Tom, how Where are you? are you calling from, Chuck? I'm calling from New Jersey, from Middletown. Nice. So, Spike uh, doesn't do New Jersey, you know. Oh, I know. Where did he say he was from, anyway? He was out in Queens, I think. I don't know. He seems like he's very creepy. If, yeah. Well, why don't you go investigate for me? Why no, that's okay. I'm going to give you the job to investigate. It'll be like uh, like uh, the uh, the bone collector. You'll be driving around and uh, you'll uh, you'll end up in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in in some sort of like hovel, getting tortured by Spike. I wish I had Lynn Samuels on Sirius Radio. I just have the music stations. I'd like to hear him call her. Hello, Lynn. You're on the Lynn Samuel show. We gotta call that Spike. Hello, Lynn. How are you tonight, Lynn? Uh, I got some exciting news. I got a uh, a Chuck Berry bootleg that uh, it's Chuck Berry live at the uh, at uh, the Ritz Theater in uh, 1988. With the pickup band from down the block. With a yeah, with a band that played Kenny's Castaways. Right. 